Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with uh, another color correction for Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2. Um, this one that I've done uh, yesterday, um, I think it's probably one of the best ones yet. I mean, I've tried it on about four or five of the maps on Black Ops on one on Modern Warfare 2. Um, I ha so I haven't tried it on every map, but as far as I'm aware, pretty much every map looks really good, oh, and it does have the facility to, you know, fine tune it to the map that you're playing on or you're making a montage on. So straight away, I'm just going to be showing you what the core correction looks like, and then uh, you know we'll jump into Vegas and have a look. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. The camera's here, and the microphones, and they wanna know. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, a fresh cool young Lou trying to cash his microphone check to one two one believe my so yeah that's uh, the new core correction um, I think it looks really nice especially for montages and mini edits and stuff like that so let's uh, jump into Vegas and um, work on that um, I've got it set as a preset um, but obviously I'll break it down for you and show you step by step you know what you need to do to get that kind of a um, core correction so the first uh, the first one let me just remove that that's not in there. So the first one that we're going to add is uh, a core corrector. Add this one first. It's core corrector secondary. So simply go up to your core corrector secondary there, and it's simply just drag on the studio RGB to computer RGB. Drag and drop that onto the video or just onto a blank space in the timeline if you're doing the the whole montage. And um, the second one is core corrector. Um, here. You can drag any of these on really. I think I just started off with blue mild tones, so just drag and drop that onto the video. Uh, but I've I've changed it slightly. I probably should have renamed it. But um, these are the values here that you're going to want to change. <coughs> the first one's just left at 0, 0.0. The second one, uh, the mid tones, is at 315, and underneath underneath it's 0 0.197, and the high tones is at 180, and underneath it's 0 0.341. Um, so then you could save that. In fact, I will save that. Just put it as um, custom uh, two. I think that's my second one. And just press the save button there. Uh, then onto color curves. This is the third one. So if you're just doing it from scratch, you just go to color curves and just drag on a reset to none onto the video or the timeline. Um, this one's obviously a custom-made one that I've done. So you're gonna need to do each one individually instead of just using. The RGB. What we're going to do is we're going to go to red, green, and blue. Um, so first of all, if you just go to the red one, it's going to be a little bit hard to show you. But if you, I'll zoom in on this when we uh, when I post the tutorial. Uh, but if you can see here, all you need to do is simply double click about here and just pull the red down, the red line down slightly. Um, so you kind of get this bend at the top, and then it scoops in there. You just need to play about and try to copy that, or you know, make your own, which whichever looks best for you. Then for the green. Um, again I just double clicked about here and made it slightly bowing upwards so that's the green line then the blue one is it's just I think I made a, a marker around here and just dragged it down you know a tiny bit there <coughs> so once you've done that uh, then what you could do is you could preset the, the whole thing so we could call this uh, let's just call it montage uh, effect one for me and then click save so you've always got that there next time and then the fourth and final effect is a soft contrast effect um, so if you go down to soft contrast not all versions have soft contrast I think you have to have the pro version or 9 or 10 Sony Vegas uh, you can dr simply drag on let's just start with you can drag any of these on it doesn't really matter because we're going to change the values anyway uh, I think on the first tab here where it says effect all of them are a standard you can pause and just check but I'm pretty sure they're standard what it comes like the effects that we change or the values we change is under the vignette tab so click on that and then um, exterior effect set to blur strength to 74.00 horizontal and vertical blur at 10 vignette shape rectangle uh, the softness is at 20 width height at 80 Corner radius 15 and the X and Y position are at 50. So there are the four effects to get this core correction. Then once you've done that, if you're not sure how to do this, you can actually save the whole thing as a preset. 
So then what you want to do is you want to click on this green button here saying plug in chain. Click that um, and then go down to your filter packages and go to add. Um, once you, oh no, sorry, save as. So you click save as and then you just type in a name here like I think I've, on this one I just called it really nice dash blur. Uh, and then click OK. Um, so you've always got all them four effects saved as one color correction. So say if you were to remove all these effects and you had your blank video here, you simply just click this, uh, well it's white but it usually turns green called event effects button, click that and then you'll have some presets here. There's one really nice blur, click OK and it'll add all four effects straight on for you. So that's uh, the new color correction. Um, let me know what let me know <laughs> what you guys think if you like it or you've made slight improvements you know post video responses or comments whatever you want to do um, I made a transition a couple of days ago but I posted it late at night it's called the window door transition so if you haven't seen that you know check it out and I've got you know shed loads more tutorials on my channel um, if you're a new subscriber so go have a look at those and yeah that's it for today guys cheers <laughs>